Hello, hello, hello. So, hi. Um, I look great, don't I? Yeah. I'm not like mad today. We are going camping again tomorrow, just for one night. And uh, the older kids are going to stay there for two more nights with my in with my parents. And then me and the husband and the baby are coming home because the husband has to work and I have school. And we're going to take these. We're going to keep them for almost two full days so that we can just decompress a little bit from all the fighting and the bickering and arguing that's been going on that's been happening um, because of summer break. Anyways, so I am trying to be ready for that. And I'm also trying every time I do take this bottle off. It's probably so hot. Hope he doesn't wake up. Um, I'm trying to slowly work on my first camping video for you guys. And it's going to be super long and I might have to do it in a couple parts. Because um, we were gone for six days and I did try to do an update like every day. And then do some little clips here and there. Um... And I'm trying to work on that today, too, because I'd like to be able to get that up before our next camping trip. But anyway, so I'm trying to get ready for that. We don't need to bring as much. Um, I don't need to bring any food. I just have to bring basically clothes. And my mom already has our tent and um, our bed and all of that stuff up there. So it's like she's going up today. So I don't need much. She's bringing most of it. And even if we do go need something, we're like 35, 40 minutes away from our home. So... It's um, not that big of a deal. Um, if you've noticed, I have dyed my hair again. I am in love with it. So my stepdad was like, oh, that's great. But then again, like, my sister was in town yesterday. And so we went to a barbecue at my parents' house. And her best friend from high school used to be, before she's had kids and now she doesn't do anything, used to be a hairstylist. And she was like, oh, my gosh, I love that color on you. And I love this color, and what is it? And did you do it yourself? And all of their stuff. And so it, it is. I did it myself. It is a stain. It. Um, I don't have the bottle. Maybe someday I'll show you it. A little jar. But it's called Vampire Blood, and I got it at Sally's Beauty Supply. And I basically put it in around 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night. And I wrapped my hair in a bag and um, slept in it on a dark towel. When I woke up in the morning... I took about a 45-minute shower. I basically took a shower long enough to where there was cold water. And I did about three conditioners on it, trying to get this thing to rinse clean. You're not supposed to wash your hair right after you dye it. You're supposed to wait one time and then wash it. Anyways, I could not get this to run clean. I was in there for 40 minutes just scrubbing and trying to get it to run to, to at least semi-clear water. No. It was still, like, pink. So, I am having the worst issue with it bleeding on everything. Um, it's been really hot, so I've been sweaty. And if you could see my neck, it's all pink. I have pink going down here. Like, it's all pink. My hands are, like, pink. My shower is pink. The shirt that I wore yesterday, because my hair was down, it had, like, a white lace in the back, and that was all pink. So angry. So, um, this I washed it and I washed it out on Saturday morning, and I didn't do anything on Sunday because I only wash my hair every other day, sometimes every two days. Um, and yesterday I had it straightened, and so when you leave in the, we had to leave early, and there was no time to shower, dry, and straighten my hair. It's a thick mess and like if I were to dry this with a blow dryer it would take like two hours because it's like horse hair anyways so um I am taking a shower tonight and I'll probably take you know a long 40 minute shower again till the water is cold and hopefully I can get it to run out so it will stop all this bleeding what is that noise I think it was the kids playing at school. Baby, not baby. Anyway, so the point of this video is I have committed again to not necessarily dieting because you're not supposed to 
diet when you're breastfeeding, but just keeping a track of my calories again. Um, if you've watched my other videos, I lost 50 pounds after having the baby, which I only gained like 25-ish, depends on what day. So technically, I'm 25 pounds below my pregnancy weight. And um, it's, I haven't been seriously dieting at all. Um, I have been, I was using this lap, this um, app, I don't know if it will focus. Anyways, it's that little scale looking thing. And it's called Lose It. And you basically just like enter in your food and you enter in your exercise. And it takes how much you weigh and how old you are and all your other, like how active you are and everything. It comes up with that many calories that you would burn on a daily basis without exercising, just from going through your day. And um, to lose weight, you say you want to lose one pound a week or two pound a week. And um, then it subtracts how many calories you need to eat less each day to lose two pounds a week. So that's what I've done. I've just set two pounds a week and I eat that. And I find most of the time that like I can't even barely eat. It allows me, um, my weight's gone down. When I started right after I had the baby, I started like a week later. Um, I was allowed about 2,200 calories. And since losing 15 pounds, I'm now at 1,900 calories is what I'm allowed each day. And if you exercise, um, you know, you get more because the exercise is just bonus. It's, um, or you can just stay at that and, um, um, not into your exercise and that will make you lose more weight. But like I said, I'm not trying to lose super lots of weight. I'm just trying to, keep it steady. I don't want to start dropping, you know, five, ten, six, eight, whatever pounds in a week or a couple weeks. Even if I only lose a half pound a week, which is what you're supposed to lose when you're breastfeeding from what I've read. Um, anyway, so um, I fell off of the wagon and, um, when I found out I had the infections and things got really stressful, I just didn't have time to sit here and be like, okay, breakfast. I had two egos like this morning. I had two egg waffles and two of my morning for sausage pat patties and coffee. And then for lunch, I had my oatmeal for breastfeeding. And then for snack, I had a Weight Watchers Irish Cream English Toffee Bar. <laughs> and so, you know, I don't have time to sit there any longer. After my last doctor's appointment, my doctor really lectured me for a half an hour about taking time for myself. That I'm giving to the baby, and I'm giving to my two kids, and I'm giving to my husband, and I'm giving to school. And, you know, I'm giving to my mom for helping out with things that she needed for my sister coming. And I have all these other side projects. I'm giving to my couponing and the running the house and, you know, just everything. And trying to see what pink my neck is. Oh, my God. Anyways, <laughs> trying to just keep everything in order and learn how to be a mom of three. It's just making me really overwhelmed. And I really thought I was struggling with postpartum depression for a while. Because you see, like, I'm starting to tear up just thinking that of so much, I have so much to do. And it just freaks me out. And I before, I used to just plow through it. And ever since having this baby, I can't. Like, I just... I don't know how to handle the emotion of having so much to do. And it freaks me out that I'm not going to be able to do everything. Um, anyways, <laughs> so she lectured me that I need to take like 20 minutes to myself every day at least. We around no kids, do something. She said, well, exercise. That's the best thing, even if it's just going out and walking. And I asked her, well, can I do more? Because I've been wanting to start my insanity videos again. And if you know insanity... It sure is insane, but I really enjoy doing it. And you don't even have to like keep up with them. You just have to move and then it works. So I asked her if I can start that and she said, sure. So I really want to start it. She said, every day. If I can't do insanity every day, I want to walk every day. You know, something just to get away, clear my head and um, just take a break. And she said that should help me a lot. So that's my goal right now, is just to take a break. 
and I find that these videos help me take a break also. So it's like my bonus. So if I exercise and do these videos, then I can have my quiet time. Right now, one of my sons is next door playing with a neighbor, and the other son is downstairs taking a nap, and then the littlest son is taking a nap right here in his crib behind me. He, that's not, he's on the other side of his crib. If you see all those pillows and blankets and stuff, he's on the side you can't see. <sighs> so, now that I've jibber jabbered for 10 minutes, this video's purpose is to be my before, although I've already lost 50 pounds. Um, I am in my, except for this shirt, I kind of like this shirt, but I'm in some just junky old pants, and I don't look good, I don't have any makeup on, my hair is all crappy, like I said, I'm getting ready to go camping, but um, I just wanted to do my before. So today is July 2nd, 2012. I weighed in this morning, and I weigh 298 pounds. It's a whole lot. But to know that I was 340, 300 and, um, 46 pounds. Yeah, so I'm not quite 50. I was, but I gained a couple. I was 346 pounds at my last office appointment. And now I'm 298 pounds. So I'm gained a couple, but I basically lost 50 pounds. Um, that's huge. So here I am at 298 pounds, and I'm starting insanity. I'm watching my calories. Um, I'm going to try to breastfeed more. Um, I've been setting my timer to remind me to pump every three hours because I've gotten to the habit where I'm only pumping three times a day. I'm pumping in the morning. I'm pumping in the early evening, late afternoon, and I'm pumping around midnight before I go to bed. And I need to pick that up a notch because I'm finding that my supply is dropping. So um, I'm also in between one of those sessions. I've normally nursed. I've nursed twice today. I've pumped once. I'm about to pump again. Um, so I'm working on that. But this is my before. And I'm going to try to do a weekly weight loss check-in. So you guys can follow me on this journey. And um, my husband's been doing it for like ever since, probably since the last couple weeks that I was um, pregnant. He's lost. Let me see. I can check my app. That's the cool thing about this app is you can totally check in and all your friends. Um, you don't get to see like their complete details, but like you can see how much weight they lost. They can, you can see how much calories you're under. So he's lost um, 20 pounds. And that was before he started weighing. That was after he started weighing. He did it for a few weeks, like two or three weeks before he started weighing. So we think he's lost closer to 30 pounds, and he looks great. So um, the main reason why... Besides health factors, with having diabetes when I'm pregnant, my doctor told me um, there's a good chance that I still have it, and that's why I'm not healing. Having all these healing issues makes me scared. Um, I want to have another baby as soon as I can get my husband to have one. <laughs> and um, there's no way I'm having another one like this. I'm not going through it again. I'm not going through it. So, um... Yeah, it's all up to me. So, here I am. I can't really see. Hold on, hold on. Controls. Let me see if I can zoom it out a little bit. There we go. That should be better. about this mess. 
The reason why my middle son is taking a nap downstairs is he threw a humongous fit and dumped out all of my um, Jackson's clothes and was like pulling things off the shelves and just like temper tantrum to the max at five. Like his two year old, three year old temper tantrum. Temper tantrum. Temper tantrum. And I am leaving it because he is picking them up. So, mm -hmm. that's that. I am off now to do my workouts and then take a shower and hopefully I can do it all by the time before the baby behind me wakes up. So the child downstairs sleeping will probably sleep for another two or three hours. When he takes naps, he sleeps most of the afternoon. So I hope so. He needs it. Oh my gosh, after that fit. Anyways, this is supposed to be a quick weight loss check-in starting and it was now a 16 minute video. So audio sleep.